the complexity and scale of what we're dealing with that this inquiry's work has taken that long. And it was right that it takes that long because there's a lot to go through and these are important issues that require thorough examination. And I think it's equally right that government is thorough in how it then responds. Now, I don't want, as I said before, I don't want to add to the history of false promises, dashed hopes and expectations. The actions of the government to date speak to my desire to move this forward and that is, remains my commitment. Uh, the actions demonstrate that and the work is ongoing to enable us to do that and it will continue to do so. Everyone in government from me down understands the urgency and importance of this issue and uh, you know, I'm sure these hearings and your work have only reminded everybody of the importance and urgency of it and I know that will, that will be an important feature of the work going forward too. Is, is, is the answer to my question that you're not able to give one or that, that you're you, declining as you, as you, I think, to, to... No, I think, Ms. Richards, as, as you said, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to change government but, policy here at the dispatch I'm box. Not, you're, you're, uh, talk, you're, you're talking over each other. Um, could you uh, let uh, the Prime Minister finish his answer course, before we ask sir. the next question? Yeah. No, I say is it wouldn't be appropriate for me to speculate on changing government policy here, as you acknowledge. Uh, as I said, I've given you an answer, fulsome in my desire to see urgency around this issue, and I think these hearings have served to remind everybody working on this issue in government how important it is that we move with urgency because of the, um, you know, the appalling scandal that this was and the decades of injustice that have brought us to this point. Uh, um, my question, um, Prime Minister, was not would you change the government's position in the witness box? Um, but w uh, is there any willingness on the part of the government you lead to look again at the question of waiting for the final report? Again, Ms Richards, it, it wouldn't be appropriate me to, for me to speculate on changing the government's position in public. That wouldn't, that wouldn't ordinarily happen, as I think you acknowledged to me in your note on the 21st of July. Uh, I, may I just ask a question? Uh, and I, I wonder if you can give this your personal consideration not here, but in due course. It, it may be thought that waiting for an event, in this case, uh, the publication of the final report, is a question of timing. That is, uh, if, if it's going to happen then, we can wait till then. And that's when we will take action. It may be a question of principle, which is your normally done, uh, that there is a principle of some sort which means that you need to look at a final report before you answer. But c can I uh, ask you just to consider this? Uh, I don't want to tempt providence, but suppose something happened which meant that the inquiry report was inevitably delayed. Suppose, as I said, I don't want to tempt providence, but suppose some accident happened to me or some illness which meant that I couldn't complete it for a further three months. Are people going to be expected to wait for that further three months before having a response from the government, given that they will have had all that time uh, until the autumn this year uh, already passed in order to get ready to respond? Well, I'd say, Chair, not uh, wanting to speculate on your future uh, it's, it's health for, for, you, for you to take back and think but, about. No, again, I'd, I'd just go back to, to what I said previously. Often it's in the inquiry's control when it concludes its inquiry and presents those final findings to government. And I think there's a determination amongst everyone's part to see that happen as quickly as possible. And I'm sure uh, the inquiry will reflect on that as well. And um, that's, that's not what I'm in control of. But what I can control is the work that is ongoing now uh, to make sure that all the things that need to be considered when it comes to compensation, which have been raised in the interim reports, are being looked at and examined, and that policy work is happening. Um, but I, what I do want to do, as I said, is put an artificial timeline on something uh, that can't be met. Uh, and as I said uh, previously, because I'm not intimately involved in the policy detail, as is entirely normal, as that is surfaced to me, then it will be a different story. Um, but that work is ongoing. In what was the most recent um, debate in the House on this issue, which was the 22nd of June 2023, um, Dame Diana Johnson, at the conclusion of the debate, um, said um, this, um, it seems to me that real political leadership to get this done is lacking. It's not good enough action 
is needed now. Um, and we've seen, and I, I don't think it's necessary to put it on screen, but we've seen, for example, from the statement of Kit Malthouse, who was then the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, talking about how, needing to have um, a senior ministerial assistance to, to push matters through. We've heard from, from Mr Hunt, now Chancellor of the Exchequer, but when he gave evidence to this inquiry last year, about the importance of having the Prime Minister's direct involvement in something and how once the Prime Minister says something can be done, it can be done. He was talking there in the context of the establishment of this inquiry. Um, Ms Morden said towards the conclusion of her evidence on Monday that she believed this matter to be a priority for the Prime Minister, for you. We know from your statement and understand that it's not hitherto been something in which you've had direct involvement. Is it right to understand that this is now something that you regard as a priority? Yes, of course. And that's why, as I said, that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm here and that's why since the government that I lead was formed, you've seen, I would believe, you know, tangible, concrete progress and action on this very important issue, more so than we've seen in the past, and that's what you will see going forward. Um, so I understand there are some technical problems with the document display, um, and I... Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.